In 2005, Arne Bolt was a young postdoc researcher in North Carolina when he began doing a seemingly strange thing. He contacted the post companies and asked them to send him common bed bugs, known as Cimex lecturarius between 2005 to 2009. He managed to collect 161 examples from 38 U.S. states, each taken from a spirit infestation. He intended to study them, but his research was cut short when he was given a job as a geneticist by the University of Tesla. Fifteen years later, he teamed up his graduate student, Carrie Lewis, who had amassed a collection of 233 bedbugs taken from U.S. states between 2018 to 2019. Together, they had an impressive stockpile. But what to do with it? Being geneticists, they began to sequence the bug's DNA. They were looking for mutation in a region of the genome that codes for the sodium channel. This channel is essential for nerve function in bed bugs and human-like. It sits inside the cell membrane of every neuron in the body. When it opens, it lets positively charged sodium atoms or ions flow from the outside of the neuron to the inside. This causes the neuron to spike allowing messages to be relayed around the body. Sodium channels are essential for survival, but some drugs stop them working properly. These include the banned pesticides DDT and pyrethroid insecticides, the latter of which is a common over-the-counter remedy for the bedbugs, both bind to sodium channels and stop them from closing.